until this point we have our camera calibrated correctly and if we do snap and find we can see that this passes because our condition statement says that if it's in the range of plus or minus one millimeter then it's a pass condition and if we click on here if we do snap and find it says pass so that's good so once this is set up we can actually begin to code the logic for the camera to go ahead and pick up this piece and place it in the correct position uh, I already went ahead and created the program I'm just gonna walk through it because it takes a bit of time to actually do it by hand so the first thing I did was I called the position register home which I defined under data and then you go to type and then position registers which are already on that screen if we go all the way up there's my home so if I go shift and then move to and then make sure teach pendant and set to on and then so now right now it's on that home position and then now if we go back to the program so I have this r logic block logic equals zero I want to set the condition to be zero before it runs this piece of code it's just always good to initialize your variables and to set this register we just go back and we click on data and then we go to type and then position reg er, registers and then here's my block logic so let's go back now to our program so block logic is set to zero so now we need to link our our program that we defined inside the IR vision through Internet Explorer and we need to link it to the teach pendant code so to do this to get this piece of line of code you are going to click on new instruction and then you're gonna go to vision and then under vision you're gonna click on run find and that's how I got this line and then it will bring up three dots and then you click on this and then there's gonna be an option under here that says choice and then select the the program you created in IR vision this is the choice option and then we created this block size process and then you do the same thing again for here but now instead of clicking on run find here so go to vision again and instead of clicking on run find we want the get pass fail this is our condition statements that we created within the block size process program and we're gonna link this Ver the value that gets passed from here into this register that we defined up in the second line so if it's a pass it's gonna be a zero or actually if it's a pass it's gonna be a one and if it's a fail it's gonna be a zero however there's also undetermined which is in our case that's also a fail because if it's not determined that means it wasn't taught that block so that means it's a fail because the size is not the same so that's why we have this line nine but we'll get to that in a second so here we said wait for two seconds this allows for the camera to actually take a picture of the block that we have in its in its um in its vision so we're going to wait for that two seconds allow the camera to take the picture and determine whether if it's a pass or a fail so after it does this then we're going to have the the robotic arm actually move to pick up the piece and once it gets to picking up the piece it runs the logic so if the register block logic is one then we're going to jump to label one if it's a fail which is a zero or two then we're going to jump to label two so let's go through label one so then we jump to label one and then at this point we have the block picked up and now we're going to tell it to go to small block above which is this right here and then we're going to go and we're going to place it down which is a small block that's our position register we defined to be right where the small block is going to be positioned and then once it drops it we're going to call back small block above so the arm goes back up again and then we have it jump to label three which is the end and which just calls it to go back to home and then now if it fails we know that this block is not the small block it's actually the bigger block which we defined to be box right above which is right here so if it fails then it goes we jump to label 2 which is right here like jump to label 2 and then we go down to label 2 and then it goes above the block and then it places it and then it goes back up again and then it goes to home and you can see here I did not define the logic for picking up and placing the block um, if you want to know how to do that just watch the earlier videos that I made I'm not gonna go in depth in here and explaining that but basically this is the bare bones of the logic implementation of IR vision inside the teach pendant code. And the main the main focus of this video is basically this lines three 
actually line two through I would say nine is your main focus so yeah that's how you implement the logic from IR vision to the teach pendant code if we were to run this program this is what it would look like so if we click on run it'll go through and then it waits for that two seconds to get the image and then it said that it's a small block and then it puts it here so let's actually hide this block and try it with the larger one and see if it actually works or not so if we go here and we do 30 and hit apply because that's the height of this block from the table and now we run it it should pick it up and move it here we'll see perfect and again I did not include the pick up and place animations within the software I just wanted to go through and and basically explain how you would go about setting that up.